Hello, and today I'm going to show you disassembly of this 2007 MacBook Pro. This is a 15 inch model. So, first thing you want to do is just take out the battery, just like that. Then you're going to want to take out the screws here, 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 and then on the side, there, 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 and there. On the back, here, and here, and here, 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 and here. So I'm disassembling this computer so I can replace the hard drive because I need to replace it. It's not working very well anymore. So it's a pretty simple disassembly. It's not very complicated. So once you get all the screws around the body off, you'll want to take off this screw, this one, and that one. So then once those screws are off, just lift it up. And here you'll find the RAM. So if you want to place the RAM, just stop at this step, put your new stick in, or take it out, or whatever you need to do, and then screw it back together and you're done. Well, if, actually, if you're taking out the RAM, you don't need to take out any of the screws around, it's just those ones. But I need to get to the hard drive, which is below this metal. So, if you want to keep going, you're going to take away this screw and that screw. And this needs a different bit. Okay, so I couldn't find the right torx bit for this screw, but I found a flathead that fits it. It won't focus. But it's the flathead. So I'd recommend taking out the RAM too, just in case. Also, I'm probably going to put more than this one gigabyte. I'll probably put two gigabytes of RAM in this. You'll also want to remove these two screws, that one and that one. Okay, so now you'll want to flip the computer over, open it up, and start taking off the keyboard. So just start from the back and work your way up. And there. Now you have access to the hard drive, DVD drive, and if you want to clean up the CPU, you would have to take out the motherboard, which I'm not going to do right now. But it shouldn't be that hard, you just have to take out almost every screw and then flip over the motherboard. But what I'm interested in is this hard drive, because I need to replace it. So to replace it, just disconnect these two things. like that. Alright, so now once those cables are unplugged, just unscrew right here. Now I'll just pop out like that, once you want to do those two screws. And here's your hard drive. So you'll want to take this off. It's just kind of sticking place on there. Just be careful, make sure you don't accidentally rip the cable. And then take this whole part off the hard drive like that. 
just put this aside. So now we want to take these little rubber feet off each end of the hard drive to put on a new one. So it uses a Torx bit. I don't think you have one that fits this, so I'm going to look for an alternative. So this hard drive uses the same Torx bit as the other part did. So I'm going to use the same flathead screwdriver that worked for that on these. If you do not have a screwdriver that will fit this screw, what you can do is just take off the little rubber nub and then there's this screw on here. Just take some pliers and then unscrew it. Just like this. Then you can do the rest with your hands. Okay, so now grab your new hard drive. In fact, this is an old hard drive, but it's better than the last one. Just put the, back those standoff things, and just screw them back on. Once you have all the little standoffs off, on I mean, just put the rubber feet back on. Once you have your feet on, just put this thing that was on the old hard drive back on, this SATA adapter. And put it back in. Once the hard drive is back in, just take this little metal arm, put it over, and screw it down. Once it's all nice and fastened down, you just want to see, it probably won't stick very well, but just stick it the best you can and plug these two little wires back in. There. It doesn't matter if this doesn't stay down perfectly, because the keyboard will clamp it down anyway. Then just plug the hard drive and everything back in to the little slot right here. And your hard drive is all ready to go. Now we'll just reassemble the computer. Start putting the keyboard back on. You'll want to clip this back on. Just finding the little clips there. Then just make sure the keyboard is all clipped down. That looks pretty good. Close it. And now we're going to screw all the screws back in. I'm also going to put four gigabytes of RAM in here now instead of just one. There, RAM's installed. Now once the RAM's installed and these two screws are down, just put that back. Once all your screws are back in, should be nice, ready to go, and should be whatever you did. Should be faster if you installed RAM or an SSD, and the hard drive should work. If you have any questions about anything about this video, just let me know in the comments down below, and I will be sure to answer them as best as I can. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.